Hey guys, Jerry Fontanus here with MJ Top 10. Now, if you have a problem with your car, you need to determine what the problem is. So, the proper terminology is diagnostic. You need a diagnostic. Now, what's the challenge right now when it comes to most cars? Like, you know, what, what's the procedure? I have a problem with my car. I hear a, a little ding ding. Well, most, most people see a check engine light or, you know, something light up on the dashboard. They go to their mechanic. They say, you know, I got a check engine light. And all those mechanics, most of the ones I've ever seen in New Jersey, they plug in their little tool. It gives them a code. It gives them a description for what for the, what the what the code is, and then they have like seven possibilities of what to replace, and they usually just end up replacing every single one, because rather than figure out which one is the actual problem, wait, but doesn't that cost more money? Uh, a lot more money. I can't tell you how much money I've saved from people who went to these places. I always knew that. Yeah, they're they're. It's not a guessing game. It's not. You know what I mean? So they're lazy. Absolutely. Either that or they just don't know how to test for certain things. So it, it, it either so that's two two character flaws right there. Either they're lazy or they're incompetent. Correct. Yeah. Like, you know, P0300 and P0301, those are codes that you would get off of a tool. That's misfire, general misfire, misfire for cylinder one. You know, uh, an actual misfire is either one there's no spark. Or there's I, no I'm sorry. I'm, I'm pissed off over here because I, I, I've had... <laughs> You know, a Mercedes Max as an example. You know, that's not the thing. I get it. It's expensive. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, so, what's the difference between a professional and an amateur? Then? A professional knows how to diagnose something properly the first time the right way and fix it. Saves you time and money. Correct. And you're able to resolve the issue. Right. I, I'm wow. sure you could relate how many times have you gone back and forth with a mechanic who couldn't fix the same game. problem. Yeah, especially noises too. You know, you got to know how to move the wheels when they're off the ground. But it's also based on experience. Okay, <laughs> uh, enough for that. How many years of experience do you have in the in the area? Give me an overview. I have 12 years of experience. Um, I went to Lincoln Tech, but I didn't really learn anything there. When I started working with my boss at Allen J Motors, he was the mechanic for the Porsche race team, for the Paul Miller Porsche race team. Um, he was. He's an amazing... Overqualified to be in some little shop yes, in New Jersey. <laughs> absolutely. He's an amazing diagnostician. When it comes to noises, he has an ear for every little nick and cranny that your car makes. He knows where it's coming from. And, you know, the computer stuff, he was catching up with, but I helped him out with that because... Wow. That's I, right. It I, makes I sense. It, it makes sense because you have to have that feel from the old school... And then the diagnostic of the results that they're giving you, but you still have to make the evaluation from what the reader is. Yeah, I'm still learning things from him, even though wow, he doesn't wow, know how wow. to use the computers the, the exactly 100. You know. No, oh, so when it's all said and done, you both be better because you're using all the tools and not just the reverse punch. Because by the way, you're a black belt, right? So you're right. type of thing to, uh, in the art of war, wanted to win. That's what yes. it seems like to me, right? Absolutely. Plus, you have some Spartan blood, so because of that, I think you want to win even more. So. Yeah. I don't, I don't like not being able to find a problem or not being able to fix it. And that's the type of person you want on your side. A black belt who has over 12 years of experience in diagnostics uh, and, and, and who's still learning himself. So you're not resting on your lowers and saying you're the best of all time, but you could probably say you're an expert. 10 Sounds years, good. 12 years, I don't care who you are, you would be pretty good at something. But in your case, you uh, do you have your black belt working on your master's degree when it comes uh, to... Uh, so we, the results of the work? I would say, as a as a mechanic, I would definitely say I'm I'm a black belt. I can't say I'm a master yet, but I, I, yeah, there, there's a lot of people that call themselves master techs that really are not. Oh, that's the natural terminology. I don't know. I don't well, know. They got masters and everything. Yeah. Master plumber, master at, electrician. At the dealership, if you work at a dealership, you get the terminology master tech. All that means is you took a bunch of online courses, courses and tests, and, and you passed pass them. But that doesn't mean you can diagnose. Yeah, so the higher diagnose. And again, the most important part is doing, doing that. Right. Knowing where the problem is. Yeah, well, at least knowing where to look. Because if it takes you 10 hours to find the problem, are you going to charge the customer 10 hours of labor for the diagnostics? No. The way I was taught was you have an hour to diagnose the problem. That's as much as you're allowed to charge a customer. But nowadays, you go to a shop and they say, well, I don't know how much it's going to cost because I don't know how long it's going to take me to find a problem. That's, hmm. not, that's unacceptable. Whoa! So the standards have changed again. Yeah. Across the board. It's not just the martial arts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yeah. It shouldn't take you more than an hour. Anything you can say to someone who hires you in terms of commitment-wise or experience-wise, why should I hire you? Um, because time is money, and the longer it takes your text to figure out problems and repair them, then the, the, le the more money you lose. So you want somebody who's going to find it fast and fix it fast and not have the car come back with the same problem? You want to hire a professional. A professional. And, and, and a professional has been properly trained and has the experience. Correct. A combination of both. And you have over 12 years of that and still count it. And still learn. Well, I'm so... <laughs> hey, guys, again, if we can save you some time money, that's what our job here at NJ Top 10. Thank you very much. You guys know AB. See you yeah, yeah, yeah. at the top. Bye-bye.